Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's lesson, we are learning the beautiful pop ballad by Louis Capaldi named Someone You Loved. Before we get started, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel with notifications on for more of these free tutorials. The sheet music for this tune is also available on my sheet music store. You will find the link to this down in the description below along with link to the full musical video and also the backing track for this song. Someone You Loved is in the key of D major. That means that we are going to have two sharps. It's going to be the F sharp and the C sharp. We are starting in second position with the note A with fourth finger. You can check the intonation of your A with the open A string. We start with the note A one time on a bow. Then on the down bow, we have two notes, which is going to be A to F sharp, which is going to be fourth finger to first finger. So one time A alone on a bow. And then on the down bow, we have A to F sharp. Then one more time, the exact same A to F sharp on the up bow. And then again, the same notes A to F, but this time in single bows. Then from second position, we jump up to extended fourth position with our second finger on the D string. It's going to be B with second finger, then C with fourth finger, then again B with second finger, and A with first finger. All of this is in extended fourth position. And then we have another three notes on the down bow, which is going to be A, B, A. This time we can play the B with third finger, we don't need to stay in extended position, but you can decide on your own. If you would like to stay in the extended position, you can play it first, second, first. However, if you don't want to extend, you can go back to first, third, first. After that, we have a jump from fourth position back to first position on the D string. This is going to be the note F sharp. F sharp to E. From the start, it has to sound like this. Then you have to repeat this melody line one more time, the exact same. And after repeating those two lines, this is the whole first part of the song. Let's try to play it together under a metronome. The next part of the song will be almost solely in fourth position. Let's go to fourth position with first finger. It will be our note A on the D string. We start on an up bow with the three notes A, B, A on one bow. Then on the down bow, we have two notes B, A. Then a single note A on the up bow. And then switch to the string A, the exact same position, but go to string A and play the two notes E and F sharp with first and third finger. One more time, on an up bow, we have first, third, first, A, B, A. On a down bow, B, A, third finger to first finger. 
then a single A on a bow, and then same position but switch to the A string, first to third finger, E to F sharp. It has to sound like this. After this move back to the D string, the exact same position and play on a bow the notes A, B, A with first, third, first finger, three notes on a bow. Then move up to F sharp on the A string, F sharp to E on the same bow. Again back to the D string, we play the same A, B, A. The next two notes will be A to E, first to first, we just switch the strings. Let's try to hear it from the beginning. Then on the up bow we have one single F sharp. And on the down bow we have three notes, F, E and D jumping back to first position. F, E with first finger, jumping back to first position with the fourth finger, it will be the note D. And then B to open A is going to be first finger to open note on one bow. It has to sound like this. Use the time in which you play this open A string to jump back on 4th position with your 1st finger on the D string. We play again A, B, A, 1st, 3rd, 1st. On a down bow, A, B, A. On an up bow, single A. And again, jumping back to A string, E to F, 1st to 3rd finger. One more time, back to A, B, A on the up bow, three notes on the same bow. With third finger we catch the F sharp on the A string, F sharp to E on the same bow. And then we have five times the note F sharp on single bows, starting with the up bow. Then F to E, third to first finger. E to D is going to be 1st finger to 1st finger, 4th position to 3rd position, then 1st finger to 3rd is going to be D to E, on the up bow single E, and on the next down bow we have E to D. This second part can be a little bit confusing because it's a lot of very similar little melody lines which have only few little differences between each one of them. What I would suggest for you, either follow the sheet music until you learn it by heart or try to imagine the actual song in your mind and try to sing it along while you play it. I found that this is helpful to me, but if you're still a beginner, I would suggest that you just follow the sheet music. Let's try it now under a metronome.
Okay, we finished on third position with our third finger, the note E, on the up bow. So on the same bow, save your bow because we have actually a second note after this. We play E to D, third to first finger. And then two more Ds on single bows, down and up. Then with fourth finger, jump to your fourth position. We have the note G. And with third finger, the note F sharp. After the F sharp, we jump back to third position with first finger, the note D. Play the first D again on a bow, three separate Ds, so up, down, up. Then jump back to fourth position, two times G on two separate bows. And on one bow, we play F sharp to E. Let's see it again. From the start on a up bow, E to D. Two separate Ds after that. Jump to fourth position, G to F on single bows. Three separate Ds on third position. Two separate Gs on fourth position. F to E on one bow. Then again, back to third position, three separate Ds on up and down and up bow. Jump back to fourth position again, G to F sharp. Then back to third position, three separate Ds. Now from here, we jump in the same bow, two notes, we have D to A. You can play this A as a harmonics, it will be easier for you. D with first finger. And then with third finger, you extend to catch your A harmonics on the A string. So three times single Ds. And on the down bow, we have D to A. Back to fourth position with third finger F sharp. And E with first finger. It has to sound like this. Then again, back to third position, up, down, up, bow, three separate bows for three Ds. Back to fourth position, G to F sharp. Third position with first finger, three separate Ds. Fourth position, two separate G. F to E on one bow. And the ending sequence is five times the note F sharp on different bows. Then we have two by two, F to E. E to D, we jump fourth position to second position. So first finger to second finger for the D, this is going to be fourth position to second position. Then D to E, second to fourth finger. One separate E on the up bow and one long E on the down bow. Let's try it under a metronome.
have good news for you. Knowing these three different parts, you're pretty much able to play the whole entire song. So what you can do in here, you can repeat from the start everything that we have, we have learned. You can repeat it two times and this is going to be all of the parts of the song up until the bridge. For those of you who will purchase the sheet music, you will see that I have added a little differences in the second time around. However, if you don't want to play the differences, you can repeat everything from the start and it will still take you to the bridge part. Now let's talk about the bridge. The bridge in the sheet music is written in a very high position. What you can do in case you don't want to go up to thumb position, what you can do, you can take it one octave lower. So instead of playing it in a thumb position, how I played it in the original, you can take it one octave lower, which will take you to the first position on the A string. That will make it much easier and much more accessible for those of you who still have not gotten up to your thumb position. However, if you are already playing that high in your thumb position, you should attempt to play it in the original octave. Okay, and now to my favorite part of the lesson. We will play the whole verse, pre-chorus and chorus under a metronome. Try to follow up and play with me.
That was the whole cello tutorial for Someone You Loved by Luis Capaldi. I hope that you found it helpful and I hope that you were able to play along with me. If you still find some of those melody lines to be a little bit hard, no need to worry, just rewind this video and start it from the beginning. Try it a few times and I guarantee you that very soon you will be able to play the whole song. For those of you who would like to purchase the sheet music, again, the link to my sheet music store will be in the description down below along with the link to the full musical video and the backing track which you can play along with. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and help me reach that 100,000 subscribers milestone. That will be very, very much appreciated. And give this video a like. If you would like to support me further and get exclusive access to my full sheet music library and mp3 library, you can become a Patreon of mine. So if that sounds interesting to you, a link to my Patreon will be also in the description down below. Let me know which other cover song you would like me to do a tutorial of down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching guys, I hope you have a nice day. Bye!